All right, so today we are working in the shop. We are working on a 2010 Chevy Silverado. This is a 1500, or I should say a half ton truck, very popular. It is a quad cab, short bed, four wheel drive. Normally I try to video a highlight unique vehicles. This is not a unique vehicle. It's a very common vehicle, very great vehicle. A lot of people have them, but I gotta show you something that is kind of a tip and a trick that you will really like, um, I think, because this frustrates me and I'm sure it frustrates other people. We are doing a transmission service. Get my light up in there. You can see I've got the, the pan off. The pan is actually down there. It's all cleaned up. It's ready to go back on. I've got the filter, the old filter sitting right here uh, after I've drained it all. What is problematic is getting the pan off. You can see I've got oil here that spilled onto this cross um, pipe from the exhaust system. This is from the driver's side bank. It merges and wise into the passenger side bank. There's just not quite enough room to drop the pan. It is super frustrating. There's no drain plug on the pan, so you've got a, you know three or four quarts in that pan, and you're trying to wiggle it off, and you inevitably start to slosh the fluid that's in the pan. It runs down the front of your shirt. You get frustrated, you start cussing, you start to bang on it, more fluid comes out. Pretty soon the whole garage floor is covered in fluid. You can see my garage floor is not covered in fluid. I've done this enough that I kind of know what I'm doing. I've got a big uh, funnel pan here, transmission drain pan, but the trick that I'm gonna show you is gonna blow your minds. It's so simple. What you do is you come back here and you can see I've got a ratchet strap on the exhaust pipe. And there's just enough flex in this exhaust system. You can see it's got a flex here, flex coupler, and I've got that flex coupler bent down. I've got tension right here before the catalytic converter. This would be the, the downstream catalytic converter. It has two more up front. And you just tighten the heck out of this so you pull this pipe down to touch on the cross member. It lowers this cross pipe just enough and you can sneak that pan out and I'll show you. I'll put the new pan back in and show you how easy it is. You don't cuss, there's no fuss, no muss. It makes a huge difference. Otherwise, you have to undo the exhaust up there at the head pipes, and they're usually stuck. You end up break, breaking bolts uh, just to get the transmission pan out. So um, let's do that. Let's take our brand new filter here. I've already got the seal up in the hole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that back up in there like so. Get it up in there, there it goes. Make sure that's in place. And then we're gonna take our pan, our freshly clean pan with our freshly clean magnet, you can see here, and our reusable gasket. And you can see there's a tapered part of the pan here. This is just gonna go in there lickety split. It just kind of sneaks up in there. Still pretty tight. You don't want to. Don't want to damage the gasket. I may need two hands for this operation. Kind of wiggle it, and oh, it's still a little stuck. You can see it's contacting there, even with the pipe pulled down. This little knob here. So we're going to try to scoot that over. Get that to go in there. It's still difficult. Maybe give it a tap or two. It will go. <laughs> you may have to just trust me. I, it's hard to do with one hand on the camera. But anyhow, uh, you can give this another crank here on your ratchet strap to pull this down just a little bit more. I don't want to tear my gasket and I need two hands, so I'm gonna turn this off. But you'll have to believe me that that makes all the difference in the world having that ratchet strap right there. Otherwise, like I said, you gotta take the head pipes down and it's a big job. So that is your tip and trick for the day. That pan will go back in there. I 100% guarantee it. And it makes your transmission service on your 2010 Silverado so much easier. So much easier. Okay. I hope you guys learned something. I hope somebody else can use this information and have a great day. Thanks for watching.